Good afternoon, good morning, YouTube, and welcome to Five Days Live Training with myself, Marco, and David. And first of all, say hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> How are you? Hello. hello, world, wherever you may Indeed. be. Indeed. Well, hope, hopefully, uh, everybody can hear us. And uh, if there is a problem on the sound, uh, you have my apologies. We've checked out David's and Marco's, and it appears to be me. If it is me, I shall disappear and come back. But welcome to the show. And today we're talking about switching from version one of BeLive to Studio 2. So if you've got any questions, then please do ask. And we say hello to... Hello. Ed. Hey, Ed. And... How are you, okay. Ed? And Lottie? <laughs> and Lottie's here too? Yep. So all is good. And uh, yes, uh, Lot is saying, looking forward to the show today and joining you to ch tomorrow to chat overcoming <laughs> 19 fears of our live chat connections. Okay. It sounds like an interesting show tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Where should we begin? Sorry. Well, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Marco, over to you. Well, <laughs> there was was uh, some improvements about Studio Two. One one of them I, I really loved because I was asking it was the availability to put more than two cameras or, or more than one camera on your side, which was a, a nice feature. For instance, if you want to transmit some some event or some. Uh, uh, a football, a soccer game, or a hockey game—it's—it's <laughs> it's good because you can use multi-camera, which is for me one of the. But the 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 more important, I think, it's the the new layout. When you look to mm -hmm. the preview, which is in front of you, not on the side on on the right side, which you had to look, and then you have to see how everything was. And I think it's it's nice because you have to look at the camera, which is right on the top of the the preview, which um, is better to to connect with your eyes with the camera. It does make it a lot easier, um, David. Yeah, well, I mean, it's uh, where do you start? I uh, I agree. The the, the multi camera thing was uh, was a nice added feature. Although I, I haven't I haven't implemented it yet. Um, I do have some thoughts in mind as to how how I will. Um, and and I think uh, uh, one of the things about it is it's it's they've still kept it simple to do mm -hmm. things right. You know, it's typically one click, maybe two to. Uh, uh, put together a production you know you, you type your words in the agenda you, you plug your camera like it's it's almost a plug-and-play solution right um and um the the layout like i, I, I kind of echo what marco was saying there's the, the the layout you know looking just where you look at things and it's just nice and simple and and um uh, you know the share being able to share the screen from the view from the guest side mm, um, is good. is a new feature that's uh, uh, well, Stephen. I know you and I have used it because um, sometimes you produce, sometimes I produce, and so uh, if you have a guest on that's uh, going to do a presentation of a sort, uh, they could have you know Google Slides prepared and they can share that screen or whatever that looks pictures or you know. Um, it's a really handy tool and and it gets the it's it's not just good because it works for good presentation for the for the audience experience it can involve the engagement of the guest as well it kind of gives them something to do right you know and call it a well, control thing if you will yeah i mean in, in the past if you've got a guest on then you ask them to send you the notes and the images you had to put the images onto Facebook. You had to bring them from Facebook into the studio, and it's a long-winded process. And if they forget one, you've got to go through the same process again. Now, they are responsible, aren't they? They are responsible for, the, for getting the content for the screen share. Yeah, yeah, good point, right? Um, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a unique feature that uh, 
Um, I haven't really seen too many other places. That's good because, for instance, I had some some guests, which the the share screen feature would uh, bring more value to the audience because uh, they are more more technical issues, more uh, topics. For instance, uh, CRO, which uh, means um, click through optimization. Mm -hmm. uh, no, uh, let let me. It's to generate more um, conventions on a landing page. So it has some uh, questions about design, about where to put things, colors to use, text to put. And then if you can share the screen, look, uh, a good example of uh, optimized landing page or to share also some, some guests like to show some slides and to for them to to express better their ideas so yeah it's it's better to i guess one thing one thing is uh give people the alternatives so they can join uh, and put more uh things on the table so well uh not overwhelm people of course <laughs> because that's another problem that david mentioned that uh, i'm using another platform but if you don't know how to manage if you're not okay with the camera if you're not okay managing guests so many options so many buttons to hit to to put on the screen that that uh, crawler the to change the layout of the cameras and everything if you have too many options and you don't know how to manage you get overwhelmed you get confused and be live it's the opposite because you just know as david said you just have to hit one two buttons and okay there you go that's that's very true i mean if you look at the, the layout which i just brought up on screen it's clean <coughs> and david said earlier, you can actually see and both said you can actually see the uh broadcast that's going out because that's the big gray square that's what's actually seen on facebook and youtube so you've got an instant feedback as to how that screen looks which makes life a lot easier um, and all the icons down the left hand side you can start at the top with your camera underneath that inviting a guest we'll come back to that then as marco said and david said you can share your screen uh, you can upload images now previously we could only upload images from facebook on version one now we can upload images from uh your hard drive has that made a difference oh yeah i think so um I, I know sometimes i've had pictures on my my uh my hard drive right so a lot of times i'll take them with my camera <laughs> my camera my phone my camera yeah. um and then i'd have to upload them into google drive so that i could get them on facebook and then there was a it was a longer process um or I've got pictures already on my hard drive and now I can, it's just another option as to where things come from that you can, uh, where you can share them from. Right. And, um, mm -hmm. but what I really do like Steven is to be able to upload video. Right. Would you like to explain? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, hello gentlemen. Oh, Dom's out there. Hey, Dom. Hello, Dom. Hello, um it it um so now they've given the opportunity or the, the 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 really cool feature of being able to upload uh, a short video right into the be live server so for example when you add it in uh you might have a little intro to your show or in my case i add an outro um <clears throat> probably won't get into it today but there's even a way to if you are like me and you go out into the community and you actually record your interviews, you can upload those up to a hundred megabytes in size. Um, there is a way to take larger files, compress them down so that they're able to uh, uh, be uploaded. That's another show for us, Stephen. But um, to be to have that ability to just take little clips, you know, like I say, uh, you can use some online sources to create your intro. Uh, things like in video or flix press etc 
and then just upload it directly in there and then you show it on screen and play the video and you're just looking more pro all the time i think it's a uh, uh a great feature that be live has implemented into uh, studio two i don't hear you steven <laughs> <laughs> Turn your sound back on, Stephen. The, the other thing that, that there is. you, none of you, will know this because you never do this. Uh -oh. When you bring yourself back on screen, you both told me you couldn't hear my microphone. But I also get this message from Be Live, which says you're on screen, you're talking, but your microphone's not working. Yeah. Now, if you've never seen it, then you've never got it wrong. But <laughs> it is there. It, it, knows, it knows that you're actually talking. Oh, really? Turns <laughs> off. Oh, try it. You want to try it? Well, you can well, try. How... You can try it and show it later. But it does. Okay. It does detect some other things. I mean, well, behind good, the scenes. I've done that and talked when nobody else is there to tell me that I, they can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> I had the same problem. <laughs> but truly, truly. Um, I've given some of my best speeches when the microphone's been switched off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, going, just going with the difference between um, version one and Studio Two is that in Studio Two, everything that we're doing is being monitored by Be Live. So the, each of our signals is being monitored, our audio is being monitored, the load on my processor is being monitored, as is the load on yours. In fact, we're being listened to and that means that they can make adjustments at their end if there is a problem like to warning me about the microphone um and it makes for a tighter system when you've actually got instant feedback david's about to do a magic trick <laughs> watch this one. Oh my um, <laughs> Wow, yes, that's good. I like that one. <laughs> right, okay, and we've been, we've, we've been joined by... Uh, I don't get anything. <laughs> I don't get anything. It's behind me. Right, right okay. Uh, message from Joe. And Joe is saying, uh, Hey, lads, I think having the ability to strip load pics and vids direct from your PC platform is great. I think it's better than having to screen share to use media. It's a lot more effective, isn't it? Now... Talking of videos, shall we just hide that? And you mentioned that we could upload videos and bring them straight onto the screen. Well, we can. And one of the problems that people have is to actually how to start a broadcast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this video, would I upload it earlier? I'm going to put it full screen. You can still hear the three of us, but this is just a short video which explains how easy it is to start a show on BeLive Studio 2. This is the BeLive be home page. Home page. And from you here, can actually start a you can actually start straight a broadcast away. straight if away. To. If you wish to, just press start and broadcast and you go live to YouTube, live to YouTube or, to YouTube, or, to or to schedule 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 If you've got scheduled broadcast this server, is the best this way is the best way to actually start those broadcasts. Start those broadcasts. So, go to my so go to my profile. And and there's my profile. There's my profile, and you can see over a thousand, just an over a thousand broadcasts. Then, from then, there you go, from to, there you my go to my broadcasts. And from my broadcast, and from my broadcast, you can see. You can first see. Of all, first of all, let's describe this screen. This, this, screen. this is your broadcast. The mode you did it in. Mode you did it in. The description. The description, which is a description, which is a description you typed in. The thumbnail, thumbnail that you used in the show. Used in the show. And if you don't and use if a thumbnail, you don't use a then you get the default then thumbnail. Then you get the default thumbnail as, there. as it is there. Then you've got the link. Then you've got the link to the live broadcast. If it's on Facebook, it will be a Facebook link. If it's on YouTube, it will be a YouTube link. As well as future, as well as shows, you future can shows, you can see all your past shows, past shows from here, and you can scroll, here, back you can scroll. shows, and every show will have either a Facebook or a YouTube link, and you can go direct to watch the replay. If you've got a show coming up, as we have here, then to get to the broadcast, I just go open broadcast, and it will show me at the top of the screen, after I log in with Facebook, of course, um, it will show me at the top of the screen that this is Stephen and Matt live to YouTube, which is up there. And it's got my screen there and it's 
working its way to bringing it split up so you'll see me on camera shortly um, and you've got my assets that I'm actually using during my broadcast and assets in the staging area stay there until you actually delete them so that's it it's as simple as that in actually starting a broadcast you go to my profile my broadcast select the broadcast bring it up on screen and to start your broadcast I'm not going to do it but you press the start button and you ask to confirm that if you don't confirm it it'll wait until you do press start and confirm it and that's how to go live and it's the same routine whether you're actually going live on YouTube or on Facebook doesn't matter system will allow you to go live on either you can't go live on both at the same time but that's simple and straightforward so to repeat it again it's my profile my broadcast click on open the broadcast studio and it takes you to this screen get your assets along the bottom that you're going to use in the show set up your agenda and remember with an agenda now you can flick it over to the right hand side uh, I'll just show you how I did that because that was pretty quick when you bring the agenda up you can now send it over to the right hand side simply by clicking the button at the top and click the button at the top again to send it back and that means that it's easier to actually show agenda items on the screen especially if you're right-handed okay so enjoy broadcasting enjoy using be live if you've got any questions then please do join the be livers group and i'll put a link to that underneath this short broadcast uh, other than that enjoy it and i'll see you in the next lecture right i'm turning Hello. <laughs> We're back. Steven. <laughs> uh, I'm back too. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's take the video out of the way. Oh, good. Um, right. And I'm going to remove that and hopefully it will disappear from the screen and uh, it will oh, yeah. rework the screens so that we're back to where we were right okay uh, i thank you for the message david that was very helpful <laughs> um i didn't get an echo at my end but uh, i know that there would be an echo on the video as well so my apologies for the echo that was down to me uh, but as david was saying earlier you can upload a video it can be up to seven minutes long and you can play it anytime during your show. You can do it as an intro or as an outro, or you can play it part way through the broadcast. And we go over to Joe, and Joe is saying, uh, "So please, Bill, I brought back solo screen for guests in studio. Uh, I didn't realise can use multi camera yet. Okay, yeah, multi camera is quite uh, quite swish. Okay, right. Let's do a diversion, shall we?" Has anything happened to you on a BeLive broadcast lately which was sort of different? David, I'm thinking of yesterday. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking in particular of pressing the record button. Oh, right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We've got you. <laughs> <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> as, you, as you can probably tell by now this show is not scripted <laughs> oh it's not <laughs> no oh, okay. no we've got no script all before. right i'll throw that away then <laughs> okay yeah um well i made it yeah i made a boo-boo oh yeah he, he just wants me to embarrass myself now <laughs> So uh one of the things so down in the bottom of the screen i don't know steven maybe could you bring up the the um the B Live Studio example. Okay, just a second. Uh, it'd be easier for people okay, to see what I'm going to talk about. He's going to bring it up on the screen. There we go. In a second, I'm going to switch my camera off and Marco's camera off. 
this is all i'm going to switch my camera off too i promise okay poof right, going. I'm, going to, I'm going to put your picture in picture like that uh, okay. there we go big way yeah there we go cool um so if you look down at the bottom of the screen there you'll see that handsome fella stephen haley there um so he, imagine that's the guest that has joined and um one of the things you can do now is instead of going live is record the interview uh or you and your guest or whatever it is you're doing which is a great feature because um for a couple of reasons uh, for me particularly um when i do my show live it's during the day and people can't always make that time so now i can record the interview and then later i'll be able to upload it in and play that interview as though it were live however important very very important if you see where stephen healy is down on the bottom there i did this the other day where i had a guest come on and you know they come in and go oh thanks everything's working good nice to see you. how you been we're going to talk about this and then okay and the top you go and you click the record button make sure that you bring your guest up on screen so you're seeing them in the bottom there but make sure you bring them up on screen i did a whole interview the other day and forgot i just clicked record because i could sit, still see him down on the bottom and he was talking to me and i could hear him and everything but i didn't pull him up on screen and so when i went back to go and download the video i was the only one there <laughs> And there was no sound on the other person or anything like that. So, um, yeah, it was just, uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. Yeah. You, you're not the first person to that, David, and you certainly <laughs> won't be the last. No. I mean, I've got um, I have to hide that for the moment and hopefully turn our cameras back on. <laughs> and we've got that. Uh, Marco is coming back too. Uh, you're not you're not the first thing you won't be the last to do that it's no. so easy done because you can talk to each other whilst you've got one person in the studio and one in the staging area then it's easy done and i've got a wonderful interview because i'll put my hand up now i've got a wonderful <laughs> interview and it was it was a with carlos romero who is a musician and dj in uh, in new orleans and it was a fantastic interview and he actually played music everything uh, but the only person laughing at his jokes was me, but nobody else could hear his jokes because he wasn't <laughs> on screen. So there you have it. Marco, well, you? in your many live broadcasts. Yeah, the, for me, the, the, the most uh, the weird thing that happened to me was, uh, it was uh, uh, two years ago, I think, a little, a little less maybe, and I I share with my guest the the both links the one of the the post on Facebook and the the link to come join me on the studio, and I I didn't even send them at the same time. I sent the the the, the guest link uh, a few hours before the the show, and I I said to him, "Look, it's just for you. Please don't share it." Okay, the the. The live started, and some minutes after, someone comes to the staging area, and what the hell? It was a guy, and he was uh, there. I, I've i seen him for two hours. That was the time that the show lasts. And even it was like I was on Big Brother, because I was seeing him even on the bathroom, uh, sitting <laughs> <laughs> and oh I, I, it was amazing and i i was here uh, interviewing my guest and wondering how the hell this guy came to here then i went to twitter and i've seen that they shared the the, the tweet with the studio link <laughs> And the boy no who was who was there <laughs> on Big Brother for two hours was commenting, "Oh, I didn't know you both, but I really liked the show." <laughs> <laughs> and I was willing to answer him. Look, I even enjoy your show also. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! It was wow. 
it was it was amazing it was amazing yeah that is a, is a classic let's catch up with the comment and we say hello to uh barry hey, hello, barry. Sp- how are you that will scroll this is a feature of be live that the text will actually scroll and there you've got it hello dear it's even a marco we got there in the end and then a long comment from joe and i'll attempt to read it okay uh, oh, sorry, it's not from Joe, it's from Lottie. Uh, don't stop me messing up my, messing up, losing guest sound last Friday when showing the mic off my machine. She was live via my iPad, muted. Uh, kept moving myself off screen and missed the grayed out solo button. No. Well, that's happened to us all. We we all have fun live broadcasting. There's no way to avoid it. And that's why we enjoy live broadcasting because things do go wrong. Now, we've talked about uh, being able to have video and we've played a video just to prove that that works. And you can do it from your drive or you can do it from Facebook because you could before. But the next thing uh, that we can do is live selling, which wasn't a feature of uh, version one. Now, I'm not a salesman, don't profess to be, but I've actually sold using the live selling feature on BeLive. It's very simple and straightforward to do. And I'm just gonna describe it to you now and then come back uh, and we'll move on to remote control, which David and I have had fun with. Um, so I'm going to bring this up to the broadcast. Uh, as you know, I do courses, and one of the courses is about messenger bots. And I put it up for sale at $9.99 during the show with the picture and uh, said, if you type in course, then you can have my course for $9.99. And what do you know? somebody did it's as easy as that and you don't need to be a salesman you just need to talk about the product and give people a reason to actually opt in by typing in the word course or bot or whatever you want it to be and you too can sell now we know that the people using be live these are sales professionals who use be live to actually demonstrate uh the, whatever they happen to be selling and then have a messenger bot in the back office and that takes care of all the orders so that whilst they're actually selling on BeLive, the bot is taking care of the cash and it couldn't get any simpler than that. Uh, So that's in Studio 2 but wasn't available in Studio in the original version. Right, now another thing, um, because I've demonstrated this today, it's handy if you can have somebody who can control things so you can actually concentrate on looking at the screen and telling your story. <coughs> Pardon me. And there is that ability within Studio 2. David, it's over to you. Because you sent, you sent me the link for shows. And uh, it's, yeah. it's a bit disconcerting at first, isn't it? It's a bit what, sorry? Disconcerting. Because you can actually move things about as co-producer. Yeah. Um yeah, well, it's, it's it's just it's a nice feature because uh, um, while I'm experiencing it now, I used to produce Stephen and mine shows that we do, doing later today, and now he's taking the turn and he's doing it. Um, it's nice to just have somebody else look after things sometimes, and it might not it, it doesn't even necessarily have to be someone who's involved in the show on screen. So, for example, if uh, if uh, Marco was kind enough and he was going to produce our show. Um, we could send him a link and not only uh, operate it right from his phone, right? So uh, he can be anywhere doing that and looking after things. So um, it's, it's just another one of those options that um, we haven't used it a lot, but it's a nice option to just have there sitting around so that you can go, hey, could you look after this? Or um, and, and then that way you and your guest or whatever that looks like can just focus on the conversation at hand. Um, you know, Steven's producing here today. He's doing a great job. Um, but it, it, and I share his experience of, Oh yeah, I forgot to turn that mic back on or, Oh yeah, I got to move that up there. If you let somebody else worry about it and you can just focus on the conversation, sometimes that, uh, that just makes things run a whole lot smoother as uh, Stephen will attest. Yeah, today, and, today it would do. Um, 
<laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, basically, it's a simple operation that you actually send the link which you can see in the studio to a co-producer you trust, and that's that's important. And they can then bring you on and off screen. They can bring guests on and off screen. They can bring images and movies on and off screen. They can change the layout at the touch of a button. They could go like that. Do we want to demonstrate go. it, Stephen? Okay. Do you want That's to send me the link? Send me the link in my messenger. I'm going to. I've got the link. I'm going to copy it. And uh, right. Okay. Yeah. I'm going over to Messenger. This is live. Um, I could share my screen, but I just need to go over to Messenger. And I'm already talking to David because he, he helped me uh, earlier. So there's the link. Okay. And I think you, I don't know whether you'll be able to click it from there or whether you have to cut and paste into a notepad. Um, but we'll soon know, because if I disappear off screen, that's probably the first thing David's going to do. Then Mark will disappear <laughs> off screen, and then David will have a screen to himself. <laughs> it, it's just, it is a great way. Now, I uh, spoke to Belive, and they are actually going to extend the functionality. There's one thing that it would be brilliant if the co-producer could simply go like this and bring the comments up on screen. Oh, yeah. That would be a major step forward because that's one of the, the problems is keeping your, your eye on the broadcast and also looking after the comments. And the thing is that we're only human. We actually miss comments, and uh, that will get over that particular problem. Did you send it to me somewhere? Yeah, I sent it in Messenger. I think I sent it to you. If we... Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I have no David. My apologies. Okay. <laughs> like okay. Oh, sure. good. Sure you have. I have to get my spectacles on. Right. Okay. Um, now, if you click the link, it may not work on a mobile. I'm not sure. You may have to cut and paste it somewhere for it to uh, work. Yeah, I'm just getting a spinny circle. Yeah. Um, if you copy and paste it into somewhere else, you can do it on desktop. Just if the link works. I did suggest, because the link's about 120 characters long, I did suggest that they put it in a uh, link shortener, like Bitly, and uh, that would make it easier. Okay. Right. okay. And David now has control. So I've, I've, I've never, made. I've never used this. So I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Marco's there. Steven's there. Oh, I see. Now I can go clickety click. Bye bye, <laughs> Steven. Got rid of him. <laughs> and I can bring him back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> and then. I can there's images, and I see. Uh, uh, I probably don't want that image up yet, but yeah. Look, no hands. I'm not doing this. David's in control. So okay, we're gonna get rid of Marco this time. There you go. See, voila, bring him back. And he's back. Hello. Yep. <laughs> and we can get. <laughs> Right, we can still hear you though. Yeah. Oh, you'll never get rid of me that way. <laughs> There's the image behind. <laughs> and back. Yeah, so it, it, it does it's nice to have the control and I guess I can change image layout. You know, that sort of thing. Yep. I can even stop the broadcast if I want. <laughs> <laughs> Don't no, mess with me. Here. <laughs> All right. Okay, we won't. We won't. We'll go over to uh, to Florida, to Tina. Hello, Tina. Say, Hello, Tina, and good morning. There we are. So we've got Canada, Portugal, and the UK, all in one broadcast. Oh, and we've got Ireland. So we're truly international. And in fact, we have two representatives from Ireland. 
and we've got another representative from Canada. Brilliant. Well, Domingos, it's it's both Canada and Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Right. Okay. And the next major change is on well, on the agenda. Do you both use agendas? I do. Yeah, me too. Right. It's and it's very useful. Yeah. And the new notes facility. Oh, so we can huge. put a note underneath. Huge. Because one of the problems I have, I have, it's to get start like the mouse on the wheel. Okay, and then whoa, whoa, and I lose myself. Yep. And if you have there the, the notes, okay, in this topic, I'm going to talk about this, this, and this. Okay, some, some ideas, just you don't get lost on the, on the translation. <laughs> it's, it's really yeah. important because one of the things that people used to tell me is, oh, Marco, sometimes you, you are not too objective. You start there. Uh, floating around and then you get so passionate about what you're saying and then you you get lost and you lose all, all the, the crew <laughs> and if you put there the notes and for instance uh one of the things i used to to use well it's a a book or something to put a paper to put my notes but uh, you you lose the you, if you start looking oh let me see what i'm gonna say next okay but if you have the notes there on the screen you just look at the side okay now i can keep the the conversation which is better for you for keep the, the show going and there's also a nice thing about this feature um i even went to the 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 old uh, agenda topics i have and then i'm using it to to make docs on Google, and soon I will make articles based on that. So it's a kind of Evernote <laughs> on V Live that you can use later. To, for instance, if you want to do again, talk about a topic you you talked before, you can go to the agenda. Look, let, let me see what I talked about. Okay, I talked about this, this, and this. Today, I can add some more information to talk about. It's like a, a memo that you hmm. can use there. It's it's very useful. Yeah, I, I use the, when I'm interviewing somebody, I use the notes feature to actually put their bio in there. So if I'm gonna talk about them, I can talk about them as if I know something. Uh, rather than just discovering it for the first time. So it's very handy for that as well. Over to Lottie. And, and live delays. Yes, we all love live delays. And uh, Lottie's next comment is saying, hello, Tina. And it's brilliant when people are actually watching the show, know each other. And this chap called Devi Burris from Sarnia, who's <laughs> just commented too. <laughs> right. Brilliant. Okay. Right. Any other pointers to somebody who's transferring from version one to uh, Studio Two? Studio yeah, I, I, I got I, something I'll throw in there that, that, that I mentioned to you. I would um, change. Sometimes, you know, when we go. Uh, when we get a new version of, say, software on our phone uh, or we get a new upgrade to something, we're like, grr, change. We don't do well with change. Take the time and go through the features. And you just it takes a little bit of time to readjust because things are maybe in a different spot or maybe there's an old feature that's gone now, but there's a whole bunch more new. It, Take some time before you go live and just go through, do a recording. Uh, one of the nice features now, right, you know, is to be able to record. Um, so, and, and that can help with some camera confidence as well, which is other topics coming up later this week. But um, just take the time to go through each one and do a recording of it. 
and then, then you can go back and watch it and see the viewer experience on when you click that button and make things happen. And there's just so many great features in the new studio too, and more coming that, um, you know, the Be Live team has listened closely to um, its users and, and, you know, the people that are doing the broadcasts regularly and listening to their experiences. That's why the features are in this now. It came from the people in the community of BeLive um, to bring this, you know, to uh, the, the BeLive team's attention so that they can implement those things. So it's, it's um, be ready for change. But uh, change is good. You don't, you don't, I'm not going to get into the motivational speech, but you don't grow without change, right? And, and Be Live has done very well at listening to its community. And I think that's something we should point out too, Stephen, is, um, you know, one of the great things about Be Live is its community. Uh, if you haven't joined the Be Livers group yet on Facebook, do that, Be Livers. And, um, there's a great community there of moderators uh, like myself and Steven and so many others um, that can help you with your questions and learn the features. And uh, some of us might even find the time to do a recording with you to be a guest and, and help walk you through uh, um, the features of the new Be Live Studio 2. Unmute, Steven. <laughs> <laughs> You're joking, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> You're not back yet, Stephen. No. We need a Stephen. Be live, team. If you're listening in the background, we need a Stephen button. <laughs> I just need to be able to go like that and that. Switch it back on. That would that would work. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hence why sometimes you have other people. Oh, maybe I should take control. Can I mute you? <laughs> yes, you can. I, I should have just looked over here and unmuted you. There you go. <laughs> that that would work as well. Which is one of the, great to have a co-producer. I mean, yeah. As David said, the Livers Group is brilliant. There are also three courses on Udemy which you can take to learn more about Be Live Studio too. You will find one in Spanish, you will find one in English, and you'll find one in Portuguese. All you need to, all you need to do <laughs> is go to udemy.com and type in Stephen Healy or Marco Novo, and you'll find our courses. Mine's the one in English, and Marco's, then two courses, one in Spanish and one in Portuguese. If you head over there, uh, and your native language is Spanish or Portuguese, then you'll find help ready to hand so you can learn straight away uh, without the bother of actually having to translate what I'm saying. And I don't have yeah. a Udemy course, so don't type my name in. <laughs> <laughs> you should. <laughs> you, you do appear in Udemy courses, it has to be said. I do? Um, yeah. yeah. Where's my royalties? <laughs> <laughs> My course is free, David. As an oh. example, of course, as it an is. example, of, as an example of good broadcasting, you appear in there. Okay, the hole's big enough. I'm going to stop digging now. And as you can see, we've switched. I am. That's the bridge that joins Canada with the USA. One end of the bridge is close to Sarnia, which is where David's from. And David is currently where, David? It's recognizable, isn't it? Stonehenge. David? Right. Stonehenge. And that's that's about 20 miles away from, from where I live. Which um, is divide, divide. I can, why can I never say it? Div divisors. Divisors. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Yeah. It divisors. comes from just uh, it won't help you remember it just but just a bit of information uh its name originates from ad divisors which is latin of course and which is this it, well you could actually translate it as crossroads so that's why it got its name of divisors ad divisas became divisors and uh, yeah see now i'm really gonna mess it up <laughs> <laughs> you just gave me more words to remember <laughs> okay, let's go back to the comments. And all right, okay, and Lottie, let's get 
take these in order. Uh, Lot is saying not all shows are virtual connections, but the big out team on there to help, indeed. And guests helping each other and host. Well, that's got to happen on my shows because if I wasn't helped by my co hosts, then it would be a show where we're all silent. He'd yeah. still be muted. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. I'm, I promise to be quiet on Wednesday because I'm not actually on the show on Wednesday. So I can be quiet then. Um, I'm going to practice. I'm going to practice with this studio too until I get it right. And uh, that may take a while. Right. Now, customization uh, it's, was limited on uh, version one. On version two, Studio Two, we now have uh, logos. And let's just for a moment put one logo up if I can get to it. And it will be that one. And it's going to tell me to apply it, hopefully in a second. Yeah, okay, I've got a delay on my end. So we will get the Belive logo. It's, it's a bit big, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's take it off again. He's going to attack me. <laughs> right. And the other thing we have is multiple overlays uh, so that you can brighten things up uh, with all overlays. You can use them any time during the show. And if there were, let's just take that off screen. If there were three of us on screen, then I can... He said, hopefully, this will work. Uh, with what's been happening so far, I can actually put the background up, and you'll see that background as soon as I press apply, theoretically. <sighs> this is where my machine is just, dear me, don't try and... You have to change the layout of the cameras. Yep. Right, okay, just a minute. That's true. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, so the cameras have changed now, and we've now got the grey background, and just to prove that we can change it. Sorry, I didn't find a device named cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, thank you. You're welcome. Right. That's the British version, you see. <laughs> right, okay, so you can change backgrounds as well, and I can take the overlay off just by simply clicking. Now, if you were doing a show on somebody else's behalf, if you are interviewing somebody or promoting something, then you can use um, their background and their overlays, can't you? Do that again. So you can you can use a customer's background and overlays so that uh, it's their show. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. So rather than just using your own, you can actually ask them to send the graphics over and you can yeah. do yeah. a banner, you can do a low third, you can do a background, which is specific to their business. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that, there's one thing about, about this that it's... Uh, way better than the, the old version, which is you can change it on the fly. For instance, uh, one of the things I, I had lots of times, I schedule uh, um, a live and then, oh my God, I forgot to put the logo there. <laughs> it really delete yeah, and then right. I have to redo it all again. Now, as you see, we can do it on the fly, which is amazing. To, for instance, if you want to to use the frames to also tell a story or something, it's amazing to to use this this feature. That's a, that's a very good point. If you broadcast into Facebook Live, you can go back and you can change the image, you can change the description, you can change the time, you can change anything that you entered. You can change, and we know that there's a limitation on going live on Facebook. You've got to go live within ten minutes. So if you set a show for 10 o'clock, at uh, 10 past 10, you can go live. 11 minutes past 10, you can't. Uh, and we all know that. We've got used to that in the last four years. YouTube, over, totally different. Totally, totally different. If you set a broadcast to go live at 10 o'clock, you can go live at 10.20. 
you can go live the day after you can go yeah. live the week after you're in total control and you can change any part of that so youtube you've got total flexibility um which again makes life a lot easier and uh the joy of broadcasting live on youtube is that you still get interaction thank you for everybody for joining us it's all integrated into the be live studio and we've been able to show comments who so have been progressing along during the broadcast and we're going to lottie and lottie is saying show offs with green screens how in be live we'll be able to do that ourselves soon ah right i'm i'm using xsplit vcam david yeah, uh, expert VCAM. OBS. Uh, and, and to give to, uh, oh, okay. But just to kind of give a demonstration of something there, too, is uh, the thing about expert VCAM is you don't need a green screen. Watch this. There's my real background. There's no green screen back there. Uh, as long as you have proper lighting. And I won't go too much detail because I know they're going to be talking about this coming up later this week, but um i have several different uh i can even do uh where is it there's a video background right so uh exit v cam VCAM is uh, a lot more flexible than just having a green screen behind you uh with proper lighting let's i'll say the lighting is important so uh, there you go yeah. And Marco, you come in via OBS. Yeah, OBS. Is that, straight, is that straightforward? Yeah, absolutely. Really, really use easy. Well, <laughs> for me, it is easy to use, and I get uh, better results than another platforms. For mm -hmm. instance, in Manicam, it's not that easy to to make it. Yeah. And in on Vmix, which is a uh, a more sophisticated platform, I don't get the same results that I get here. Right. Yeah. So there are various options available. If you want to go green screen, and as David said, you don't need a green screen, but you do need good lighting, and it doesn't have to be expert. Bcam, as uh, Marco is showing us OBS today, and OBS is free. Absolutely free. Absolutely free. Right, okay, so I think we've done most of the options that are in studio too and have we any tips for people who are going to transfer over from version one to studio two well i'll just reiterate Stephen. uh like what i was saying earlier is practice take the time to go through it you know and and go through all the features that are listed and um what does this button do click on it you can't hurt anything you're not going to blow your computer up or anything <laughs> like that um, you know, just, uh, click record and then go back and watch yourself again. Uh, that's something we haven't talked about. It. We, we, we should remind everybody is once your lives are done, you can go back within the hour typically, but depending on how things are busy mm -hmm. on the server, you can go back and download an HD version of your recording. You can go down and download a good quality audio only version if you're using for podcasts um which I, which i do um and it's it's just uh, those are some more nice features there's a lot of great stuff going on here so i would just encourage people to record themselves practicing and then download it and then watch yourself and um i, I <laughs> It's, I've been accused of being a little narcissistic when I've done my shows and then I, I maybe go out later and and then I get on my phone while I'm sitting in a restaurant or something watching myself. Because <laughs> <I, laughs> right? I'm not really watching. I'm looking at what's going on and I'm picking out, you know, yeah. the, the, the how yeah. can I yeah. improve myself or or what's happening in the production, right? But yeah, I, um, I, yeah no, go ahead. I, I, get, I often get the phrase, are you watching yourself again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I got to have some viewers. If I don't watch me, I'm not going to have any viewers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just take the time and practice and go through. And um, as you've seen today, as Stephen has demonstrated very well, um, that live isn't perfect. And it's, no. it's, it's mistakes are going to be made. 
Um, and in this live streaming world, the people are forgiving to it. They're, they're, they yeah. get it. They're like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's not, it's not television. While we want to get to that level at some point, the live streaming world is not quite there yet. It is getting there. Um, but um, just practice and just have fun. My goodness, Marco, Steven, and I, we've been just having fun here, making fun of each other and, and doing fun things and just have a good time. If you're not having fun with it, don't bother. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Before I come to yourself, Marco, uh, just from Lottie, the ability to produce shows for clients with their branding is a game changer. And I agree with that. And just going back uh, to a question that Lottie had, uh by our showing off our green screens we do know and we can't give a date that be live will have an inbuilt green screen at some point marco now the thing that yourself and david have in common is that as well as actually appearing on live video and helping everybody is that you actually both teach this in the real world you actually go and speak to people marco uh, over to you for your hints uh, as to switching over to Studio Two. Well, it's 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 as it's, for me, it's a passion, and that's that's what David said. Uh, it's a passion. It's how fun we have doing this. It's amazing. Uh, as I, I guess you already heard about my love at first live uh, quote, yes. <laughs> and that's it. One, one feature I, well, I, I was about to talk about the availability to download the, the files at the end, which for me, it's huge that you can reuse the content and we know how hard it is to make new content, to come up with new content every day. So if with one piece of content, you can generate tens, tens or hundreds of, uh, more the small contents, I think you you are ahead from lots of people. And another thing I want to, to talk is the possibility to reschedule a show or to edit a show. For instance, you schedule a show for tomorrow at 4 p.m. and there's something that could uh, come, uh, could arrive, and you need to make it at uh, uh, 4.10 p.m. You can do it, you can edit, you can, and before you you couldn't make it and so it's it's good to to could make it let me think about another feature if there's some another feature that i like but i think it, it's still really easy to use you don't you don't need to to be a pro user to use be live so as as uh, david said just put your hands on the on the on the water allow yourself to to make some mistakes um i do mistakes all the time <laughs> the sound not working the well i forgot for instance this morning i had a, a guest and i forgot to ask her something at the end of the the show one thing i i came up uh, then I, I i'm sharing this with you one of the things we struggle every day is to get testimonials uh, from people. One thing I'm starting to use is at the end, I made it yesterday, I made it last week. At the end, for instance, you're live, you stop the, the, the live, then you put it on the offline recording and you ask to your guests, please, can you share uh, yet your review from the experience you have here with me? Just one minute. And that's it. You get a, a live a, a recorded uh, video from your guest with the review, with the testimonial about the experience with you doing live show. And it could, for instance, if it's a friend, it could bring some other opinions about your work, which is amazing. Instead of asking him all the time, please send me a video about a testimonial. You can do it at the end of the, the show. And it's, it's, I've, why not? <laughs> I think it's a great idea. I'm going to adopt that. Yeah, because the, he's there. One minute more, it doesn't make any difference. And you, they're in a good mood because they've just been interviewed. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Catching up with Lottie before we go. Uh, 
David's tip is in there. Go through help practice, record yourself. And Marco's tip is there. And brilliant. Thank you, Lottie. Thank you. Right. Okay, now that's today at 10 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. Uh, you recognize one of the people in the photograph because he's over there. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow is building your brand, and David's back on Thursday. Yeah, and but tomorrow <laughs> is building your brand with Lottie, and Lottie's been commenting today, Marco and myself. And we have a new co host all the way from Ireland. It's Joe Shepherd. And uh, nice. Joe, it's good to have uh, to bring in ideas from all around the globe. And like Lottie, uh, oh, like Lottie, Joe is from Ireland. And uh, Joe is saying thank you. Brilliant. You're welcome. Right now, I've got a problem here because normally when I do a show with Marco, which is on a Tuesday, or I do a show with David, which is on a Monday. In fact, we're all live in an hour's time. Uh, I I open the show, and I just gently turn to one side and say, "Would you close the show?" I've got a problem today. Cause <laughs> both, uh, David, David's correctly pointed at Marco. Marco, would you close the show, please? Okay, I, I will <laughs> close it in Portuguese. If you don't okay, very good. Go for it. Foi um prazer ter-vos cá. Espero que tenham gostado. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure having you here. Hope you enjoyed the new version of stu uh, Live Studio 2. Please put your hands on it. Enjoy. If you have doubts, if you have any questions, please ask them on Belivers Group. What they, uh, Stephen and David uh, told about the supportive uh, people we have there, it's true. Uh, and for instance, it's also a nice place to find guests to your show and to yeah. to find collaborations. You will be my guest. You will, uh, I will be your guest. So please uh, ask there because someone will come up to help you for sure. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> if I can find the button, we'll end this broadcast. <laughs> <laughs>